Hey guys, it's Barb, and today we're going to be talking about the Afmat Long Point Pencil Sharpener. Many colored pencil artists want a great long point sharpener that will give them the sharp point they need for detailed rendering. This hand-operated sharpener featuring a helical blade by Afmat has many of the features seen in other similar sharpeners at a fraction of the price. It has five adjustable settings so you can customize how fine you want the tip of your pencil. In this demo, I'm going to use a variety of popular brands of colored pencils as well as barrel shapes to put the sharpener to the test. First up, I'm going to try sharpening this open stock Faber-Castell Albrecht Durer pencil. I've also adjusted the point to about a number three setting on the sharpener. As you can see, the pencil isn't even turning and for that reason, it's also not sharpening. I tried inserting it again a second time just to make sure I didn't make an error the first time around by not pushing it in far enough. Unfortunately, it was still the same result. At this point, I wasn't sure if it just didn't like hexagonal shaped barrels, so I tried another open stock pencil with this Durant Drawing Chinese White. Unfortunately, I also got the same result. It didn't feed into the pencil sharpener and it also did not sharpen. The conclusion I came to with this was that it actually has to do with the open stock barcode stickers that they place on the barrels of the colored pencils. After trying to remove the sticker from the pencil barrel and trying again to sharpen it, I did have some success, so that's something to keep in mind if you decide to purchase this sharpener. My next test involved an unsharpened Prismacolor Premier pencil. These pencils have a notorious reputation for breaking, so I wanted to see not only how it sharpens without a pre-sharpened point, but also if the lead would break. I'm starting it off on a blunter setting just to see how it holds up to a more conservative sharpen. So far it looks pretty good, so I'm going to up the setting to see how it performs. have to say I was not expecting such an extreme result, but this pencil definitely held up to a fantastic point. I even tried a second Prismacolor pencil as well, just to make sure I didn't get lucky the first time. Next I'm sharpening a Faber-Castell Polychromos pencil. I'm expecting a good result on this one because it's a smooth round barrel and because the wood quality is a little higher and the leads tend to be a little harder on these pencils as well. As expected, this pencil sharpened absolutely beautifully. It's not enough for them to just look sharp though. The key will be if they are actually usable with both light and moderate pressure applied. I'm testing out the Prismacolor pencil first with light pressure and next a firmer hand with a more specific line. You'll notice the very end of the tip does break off when more pressure is applied, but for the most part the lead is still intact so you could still use it for finer lines if you wanted to. Next I'm testing out the Polychromos pencil in the same sequence and it holds up really well without any breakage. My final test is with a Caran d'Ache Pablo pencil, which has a hexagonal shape, although it is a little bit smaller than the Albrecht Durer ones. This time I'm using it on the maximum sharpness setting. The results are really awesome, and even at this setting the pencil holds up to different pressure usages. Emptying the sharpener is really easy with a large removable shavings reservoir at the bottom. 
You can also remove the blade itself by turning the larger knob counterclockwise and pulling out the assembly. This is helpful if you do end up needing to remove a broken lead. Here's a final look at all of my test subject pencils. As you can see, the pencils that had barcode stickers on the barrels did not perform well at all. So again, just remember to remove them prior to using this sharpener. I was really happy with the results otherwise, and I can't wait to try these pencils out on an actual piece. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.